okay guys so the next thing to do now is to do the floor so what we do now is to just create the floor before we do that i just want to hide all these effects we need this aircraft I just want to hide everything so we can have a clean workspace okay that is fine so for us to create this floor we have to tick just to pick some just to pick a a track here that is parallel to the ground just pick something like this one be fine now just select it with shift s then cursor to select it all right now the cursor is at the center of this point we picked okay just press shift a then add a plane okay so the plane what we did now is to select the place and the plane we assign to the location okay so we just have to when you play pre this land you see that the plane stick to the position and that is exactly what we are looking for right here so we just have to edit this then adjust it to make it fit the ground a little bit okay like so just click here drag this forward okay i'll just drag this down all right click here then adjust this to the exact position of the marker okay like so so i just just choose the edges right here then i'll just drag this forward okay you see that it's not enough so i'll just drag it okay so this is better so i can just do more by dragging it forward like so what i'll do here is to just click here on this edge then bring instead of bringing it down uh, let me just choose the vertex select just, i'll just drag this down a little so this should be okay and for this back uh, we would like to move it backward to edge select then move it back what a little like so if that's not enough you can do more by dragging it back i just want it to be something around here so let's check that in the cursor so just do more okay instead of that i'll just click here to edit select then drag it up like so so this should be fine and this should be okay for the shadow just play through you can see that it stick to the floor okay so let me just subdivide this I'll just add a little cut instead of subdivision just drag this forward to something around here so what i will do now is to also add a little cut to the middle like so just put something around here so i'll just pick this then drag it down all right coming here so i will just add another little cut to somewhere here just drag it forward then i will just pick this one drag it up okay just to align and set it correctly all right so you can just go away with this this is better so when you play through you have something like this you see that the stick to the position okay and when you look at this side it's not really working so we just drag this down a little all right for better representation of the floor so when you play this you see that this is really working fine and when i look back a little i just see this let me check whether it's okay this is fine all right you don't have any problem back there so that is better okay so we will just bring back our aircraft just bring it back to the same all right i think this is better so now if we just select this to the rendered just give it a time for it to load all right now we can see we have shadow on the floor as you can see but we still have the aircraft also 
and we also have this plane covering it. For this, I can render this and do the composite and remove remove the shadow out of this plane. But instead of going through all those pain, and you might not get it correctly because I already know how to do this. But let me show you the simple way, which is a shadow cacher in Blender, and everybody knows this. So just click on it, click on the plane. Yeah, just come down. Let me just drag this up a little. All right, so I'll just go to the object properties here. So I'll just come down to visibility. Now as you select this in mask, you see mask here, you see shadow cache and hold out. What we need to do is to just click on this shadow cache and everything will be set for us. Just click on this shadow cache. Then this is the magic. We have only the shadow. All right. And the reason why I did this the way this way is because I don't want this to render twice because Blender do this as default and render this floor for us as another layer and that will be that will be a long time to render this but doing this in a one layer is is better but it's, we have more flexibility in controlling the shadow if we separate it but it works this way. Okay, as you can see that this top here we also need. Some shadow here the shadow is not reflecting here so we can just extend this plane and get that shadow done okay i'll just click on the plane here just go to the edit mode again just select all these edges let's press e to exclude up easy then press e also just to exclude out like so all right so this may not be perfect it depends just to get the representation of this area we are using okay and this is okay so when we just go back to the render just wait for this to load again okay now you can see that we also have shadow here on this top here and this will be better and you see that this plane is clipping with our effects just drag it down to separate them Okay, that is better. So when you go back here, yeah. just go back to solid. All right, see that it's not clipping anymore, and that is better. Okay. So when you just do this one more time, let's check. Perfect. All right. All right, we have the shadow and let's move this back to check way back way back all right well, even when the aircraft is above the sky you can see the shadow here so everything is working perfect the way we want okay the next thing to do is to do the samples render and let's do the test render right now and check the composite to see how this will be good to go for compositing Okay, for this, let me just pick a frame like this. Oh, let me choose this back. Okay. So let me just do the render. Okay, now this is done. Ren this is done rendering, and the motion blur we are getting on this is the default that the Blender does for us when we set the motion tracking. And this motion blur is not exactly the one I want. And you can see the shadow here. You see that the shadow is working correctly. But let's leave that for now and let's deal with the motion blur. So for the motion blur, let me just get this back to solid. So just go to the rendered settings here. Come down to motion blur. Now this center on frame should be 40 point. Okay, and this rolling shovel should be on button, top button, and it should be hundred percent, one percent, right? So when we render this once again, and let's check this out. Okay, now you can see that the motion blur is very much accurate right now, and this is better. So now let's go to the compositing and do some stuff. Okay, so I'll just go to the composite here, and you can see that the composite we have here, the node we have is the default that Blender 
create thread for us and this I don't really need all these nodes so for this we have to render layer which I don't need also the distortion I don't calculate length the distortion so I don't need this just get rid of this even the scale let's just delete everything and do this our own way so just delete everything right here I will leave this movie clip okay all right so first thing we're gonna add is a viewer node press shift a go to output select viewer and also the composite press shift a go to output and select the composite okay if you are the viewer and do select this composite that means you are not rendering the composite then. okay so we need a alpha over node just press shift a go to then select alpha over drop that here now we need our render layer just press shift a just go to input now select render layer okay, so the render layer we have we have the, our aircraft you can see and our movie clip we have our movie clip so to mix this together just have to drop this image clean clip just to drop here in this alpha over up here okay and for this render layer drop this down here okay just as simple as that instead of adding a lot of nodes like before we can see that we get the same result with this simple node just with this alpha over all right so that is good and the next thing to add here is the dirt i add on the floor when the aircraft stops we need to add that also so now let's add that